Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me guys. This is the Spirit Font and we're having a look at the rest of November, I guess. It's going to be general, so please use your intuition to see if this message is yours or not. And if it is, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. That would mean the world to me. Or look below in the description as how to book a personal reading if you'd like to. Um, if this isn't your message, guys, just keep searching on YouTube, alright? For the Aries who this message is for, let's get started. Aries, also remember roles could easily be reversed here as this is general, but I am feeling a very strong energy of someone really missing you, Aries. Um, that five of pentacles with the hangman is an indication that possibly you haven't been in communication with this person for quite some time. There could be some distance between the two of you, uh, but in this distance, I do feel that this person hasn't fully let you go. There's an energy of lack. There's an energy of possibly feeling left out out in the cold feeling abandoned really really missing you Aries and I also do sense that possibly there's something that's changed in this person's perception in the separation I'm gonna have to get some clarification as I go deeper into the reading but I am seeing that this person's just choosing to kind of go within for the first time in a long time this person's really listening to their intuition and their intuition seems to be guiding them right back towards you there's a strong energy of this person's soul leading them to bringing you an offer and I do see that this offer is a strong offer possibly of love there's a very sweet um, energy here there's a very sweet I don't want to say divine as this is general but there's definitely some sort of soulmate intuitive higher energy between the two of you and it's very very sweet and i do feel that this person's intuition is kind of telling them that what they have with you is extremely special um the six of cups is my card of possible soulmates or someone that you knew in a past life and i do feel that when you were with this person for whatever reason they weren't able to connect to their intuition they weren't able to use their um, perception to really see what this relationship is about but now that they're sitting in those five of pentacles now that they're kind of feeling the lack of not having Aries in their life that's when their intuition was able to speak to them and help them recognize that you could be a possible soulmate you could be someone from a past lifetime and in the very least you could be a very very good friend Basically, what I'm saying, Aries, is this person recognizes that they cannot not have you in their life, okay? Not having you in their life has been quite cold. It's been quite lonely. Um, this person could also be feeling abandoned, even though it could be their fault that they're sitting out in the cold. But let me just put it this way. The cold has triggered your person to really go deep. And by going deep, they've listened to their intuition and their intuition has made it clear that they need to come back towards you with something valuable, with something vulnerable, and they need to get you off the market. That's my card of um, showing you off. That's my card of feeling successful by being by your side. Um, there's something that this person wants to win back, and I really feel that it's you. There's a confident energy in them with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. Um, they are confidently marching towards this relationship they are confidently marching possibly towards reconciliation as well okay so let's get some clarification here why has this person changed their mind possibly i do sense a lot of it is their intuition but let's see what the cards have to say if it's not their intuition there could be some something in their high maybe someone that they look up to, like an older mother or someone from their church, someone from their work, someone that they admire, someone who really does have good intentions for them. I feel like that person could also have said something to them um, that changed their perception or maybe made them recognize something with this hangman. I feel like your person found some sort of enlightenment uh, by listening to some someone or some, some sort of energy from above. Does that make sense? <laughs> Sorry, Aries, I don't know why I felt. I had to just give you that message <laughs> all right universe let us clarify these three energies Ooh, 
Ooh, wow. Okay. Wow. Um, just give me a second to interpret this message. Um, I feel like it's the same message. There's something about this ending, something about the closing out of an old cycle, which I do feel could have been the old relationship that you had with this person or whatever interaction you were having with them. The ending of that situation is what has kind of pushed your person to transform because after every death, death is a rebirth. Um, as mentioned, there's a huge energy here of listening to their higher self, following their intuition um, and following that intuition back towards you. Um, this person, I feel in the separation, the transformation has been that they now recognize that you are either their empress, if you are the female, or you are the king of cups to this person. These are literally the same energies. The king of cups is the empress, but male version. He's extremely nurturing. He's loving. He's emotionally balanced. But the best thing about these two people is that they don't chase love. They know that what is theirs will come to them. And I do feel that this is something that your person's really admiring about you Aries and that is why they want to come towards you a little bit more mature um, a little bit more on your level so that they can be your counterpart I feel like your person's kind of closing out something um, they're kind of healing something and they are definitely listening to higher source okay and it was all triggered by the ending of something. I do have to reiterate that I do feel that for a lot of them, you are the source of this healing or the source of this transformation. Right, let's get into what this person has to say. When they come in with this offer, I do feel that they have no intention of not winning you back this is a very confident energy um this is them coming in to sweep you off your feet as the knight of cups can indicate that knight in shining armor wow <laughs> this is literally what i was picking up on this person is extremely confident about uh, taking the sleep of faith towards you um i don't want to say arrogant but that five of swords is my card of being ex it's my card of arrogance okay so i do feel that this person is very very sure about the fact that you um they are very very sure about who you are to them okay they are very very sure about coming back towards you this person has very little doubt about this um they are coming to fight for you they are coming to win you back um and for a lot of you what this offer is is traditional it's commitment it's something um, you've possibly been waiting for for quite some time from this person. The Hierophant is um, something, what's the word? This person's just wanting to mature and give you something um, long lasting and committed, all right? I must mention for some of you, the Hierophant does indicate marriage, but remember, this is a general reading. Ooh. All right, guys. Get into the light seers and we'll see what this deck has for you. This person's definitely been missing you, and in this missing you, they've had an epiphany of who you possibly are to them, Aries. Okay. Just give me a second. Please excuse the thunder. It is raining here where I am. So, you've definitely separated from this person or you've created some distance. Also, please excuse how dark it is. It is raining. I apologize. Um, you've had to kind of separate from this person for your own mental clarity. Uh, but I also pick up the Six of Swords as them journeying back towards you. This person has not let you go. Um, they do understand that right now you possibly do not trust them and you possibly um, 
think that they're a little sneaky but the seven of swords is another indication to me of them plotting and planning some sort of return towards you um this person's tired of being without you this person's tired of feeling lack um and i feel like the lack is you okay um as mentioned before this person had to kind of come to some sort of decision um, and I also feel that there's been some sort of clarity of mind with that enlightenment that I was feeling before where maybe they just weren't sure who you were and now they had to lose you in order to figure out that you are what they or what they are looking for um this person's definitely gained some clarity they've used the sword to cut through those um insecurities those doubts those fears or those um maybe your person just kept telling themselves they don't want to be in a relationship um this two of swords is coming across to me as this person's um, preconceived notions of relationships, this person's past hurts, preventing them from seeing um, how precious you are. But now that they don't have you, it's given them this Queen of Swords energy, the card of clarity, the card of communication as well. Okay, so this person wants to communicate that they're finally clear about their intentions for you. What's this card? Not sure if you, um, a lot of you are very defensive, okay? Um, and a lot of you possibly could be feeling like this person has to kind of fight or prove themselves to you. Let me see why that nine of wands is here. I do feel that that's your energy or maybe they are afraid that, that, that they might be rejected. But despite that, they're still going to come in very confidently, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is your energy, Aries, where this person's created a lot of doubt, a lot of anxieties within you. They've kind of got you stuck in your head. And that is why when this offer comes in, you might, I don't want to say rejected. That's not the energy I'm picking up on. I think you might actually fear it. You might actually create boundaries around your heart. You might want to protect yourself because I do think that this person's put you through a lot. Uh, but eventually I do see you collaborating with them or at least hearing them out. Um, I do feel that you might actually let this person in, okay? Despite all of this anxiety that they've created for you. Right, let me go with one more shuffle. Can we trust this person's offer? Let me ask that. For a lot of you, there have been some drastic changes, some drastic shifts in this person. Um, but I also feel that losing you is, it was a shock to the system for them, okay? Um, a shock enough for them to do some introspection, listen to that intuition. Um, they do understand that you are very defensive. Right now, I do sense that a lot of you, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know guys are you gonna reject this person or are you gonna make them kind of work for it there's an energy here of you not completely opening up when they come towards you okay but as mentioned they're very confident about this new start and this is someone who's going to try to prove themselves um they're going to say whatever it is that they need to and i also see them backing it up with action because i do understand I, I feel that they do intuitively understand that you are defensive they do understand that you are hurt by them but i do feel that they are willing to persevere past that in some way um and kind of win you back i don't know how else to put it okay this person's gonna put in the work um this person knows that they've planted seeds with you and they're gonna do whatever it takes to watch them bloom watch them grow and sprout into a new relationship you are a wish fulfillment for this person and they are ready to take you off the market. Uh, male or female, that empress comes across once again, same energy of you being very nurturing, loving and caring. Um, and that is a wish fulfillment for this person. It's a healing energy for this person. Um, and it's something that they are not willing to let go without at least giving it another shot. Okay, this person's really going to work hard to prove that I've changed okay that's the energy I'm picking up on here for you guys I don't know 
let me know in the comments what's going on here protecting treasures your grounding energy it's so dark I'm, I'm so so sorry guys i probably should have switched on my little uh, flashlight before i started the reading but protecting treasure is your grounding energy it's card number 39 let's see what it has to say i actually kind of feel like i know what this has to say because i was feeling so much defensiveness from you um when this person comes in i do feel that you're gonna feel the need to protect yourself okay um let's see i just wish you could see these cards better i apologize although this is a time of great risk know that at a fundamental level you are able to move forward safely and securely the proverbial nest egg is safe and sound no matter the fluctu the fluctuations in the world Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Oh. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you... Oh, wow. Wasn't I saying all this about nurture? Nurture that which you hold dear. Damn, I lost that card. Sorry, guys. Um, nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendships and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a tr at a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Oh, embrace your courage. Beautiful guys, embrace your courage. Um, trust that you're doing the right thing if you need to create boundaries against this person and trust that if you've created distance, that could be why it is that they're coming back towards you. Um, they've missed you and what they're coming back with to, um, towards you with is genuine from what the cards are telling me. So um, use your intuition, protect yourself, but I, I do feel that you should hear them out. Okay guys? That's your reading. I hope that it's helped. Like, share, subscribe so it reaches as many of you as possible. And love and light. Bye.